The killing of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi was very much on Lindsey Graham's mind. He said relations between Washington and Riyadh couldn't be normalized until Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, widely believed to have been behind the murder, has been dealt with. We will um, start sanctioning those involved with the killing of Mr. Khashoggi. We'll make a definitive statement that MBS knew about it and is responsible for it and come up with a series of sanctions. Khashoggi was last seen at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul on October the 2nd. After initial denials, the kingdom eventually admitted that Saudi agents killed the journalist who criticized the crown prince. Saudi leaders say 11 Saudis have been indicted, while the U.S. government has imposed sanctions on 17 Saudis for their suspected roles in the murder. Lindsey Graham is an influential U.S. senator who is a member of the Foreign Relations, Defense and Appropriation Committees. He's been both an ally and a critic of President Donald Trump. Although he's not known for mincing his words, but his outspoken stance cannot be confused with official U.S. policy. He said uh, a little more than a month ago that uh, Mohammed bin Salman was a wrecking ball and that uh, it was very clear that he was responsible for the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. But now he's talking about handling the situation. I think it's a bit of a, a, bit of a walk back. And also I think it's, uh, it's worth pointing out that this is actually useful for Donald Trump because to have someone who is an ally of Trump, a very close ally and a, and, and a very powerful senator coming out and, 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 and in effect demanding something be done with uh, Mohammed bin Salman, uh, take some of the pressure off Donald Trump. The, United States. the Republican senator has previously visited the area in northern Syria, where four Americans were among 19 people killed on Wednesday. The suicide attack by ISIL fighters in Mambij followed the U.S. president announcing the withdrawal of U.S. troops and declaring the defeat of ISIL, sparking yet another fallout between the Americans and the Turks. It's a delicate balance on the border between Syria and Turkey. The so-called safe zone is in a region sandwiched between Syrian government forces backed by Iran and Russia and Turkish troops on the opposite side. U.S. forces and Kurdish allies are squeezed in the middle. Turkey's leaders view Kurdish YPG as terrorists. The U.S. is trying to tone down that hostility towards the Kurds. The roadmap to Mambij is the most important thing to be accomplished in the near term. So I would hope that President Trump would slow the withdrawal until we truly destroy ISIS and see if we can implement the roadmap to Mambij as a confidence-building measure that will remove YPG elements from Mambij. Working with Turkey allow the people of Mambij to come up with a governing structure acceptable to, to Turkey and the region. And if we do not do this, uh, our withdrawal is going to create holy hell for Turkey. So is the threat of an ISIL resurgence as well as warming ties between Kurdish fighters and Iran-backed forces all unacceptable for both Turkey and the United States. Osama bin Jawed Al Jazeera, Gaziantep.